Hello viewers. Today we are going to see about uh, how to add missing documents and uh, cite citation in Scopus. So for that uh, we need to go for this website. So that service.delsworth.com app slash over you dot slash scopus okay so we need to go this website in order to add any missing document in scopus straight away i'm going to that website see that service.delsworth.com slash app slash over you slash scopus okay so after going this website you can see that uh, different uh, option that means FAQ frequently asked questions. So how to you uh, how to I use the other feedback in the shot and then how to I request to add my uh, add a missing document. How do I correct my author profile? How can I add missing citation? So how to I create a correct appreciation profile? Okay. So here we are going to see about uh, how to add missing document first. So for that you just you go to click this one. How to add so how to request to add a missing document, just you go to click this one. So after clicking this uh, link, she so will uh, na navigate to another window or another web page. Okay. So you can see that it, so this uh, Ah, okay, in this uh, you can see that uh, uh, this link, right? Web form, right? Just go to click this uh, link. So after clicking this link, so it goes to some uh, page, right? That means uh, it goes to contact support, right? So after that, uh, uh, going with uh, this site, uh, this web page, next you go to choose this contact reason, okay? So in that uh, Contact this and just go to click this one. Our machine document. So after uh, clicking this one, they are asking about some basic information about a uh, published journal. Where you publish that paper? Okay, journal detail. So whether uh, that currently indexed in the Scopus or not, in order to check that uh, um, journal, right? So recently I published a uh, paper in. Uh, and journal of circuit and system and computers okay so it contains both number right issn number uh, print print issn and uh, eassn i think but online issn okay so my paper is published in online and not in published in a printed version okay so in order to add this paper so i'm saying just i'm going to copy this issn number eassn number and then copy so and then you can uh, paste here okay so after pasting this uh, detail they ask about uh, um, and which date uh, that paper was published okay so for that uh, i'm going to go to my paper details so my paper is uh, available available at online ready so i'm going to search my paper um, just See. Ah, this paper was published in the Journal of Circuit and Systems Computers. You can see that uh, detail here. Okay, so my paper was published on 8th August 2020. So you can uh, note this date and then you can provide the detail in this section. Okay, just you have to provide the detail. And then you can click this one. Search. Okay. After search, they are given some uh, uh, after verification of the ISSN and uh, uh, publication date. Uh, they, uh, they provide some detail. If the request to content belongs to the current year, please fill the form under. Uh, yeah, an agent will get back to you with the solution. Okay. That means the uh, publication. That means general details is, uh, is currently listed in the Scopus. Okay. So next you go to add some basic information. Please provide the following information. Just you go to type add my 
paper in my profile okay that's all and then you know, I can uh, they, they, say they ask about some basic information about that paper so document title and just you would copy this title copy the title and then paste here and then they ask about the DOE is optional so you can provide the DOE or uh, uh, okay if, if that paper is DOE then you can provide the DOE number so see that this is a DOE number just going to copy this one and then provide the DOE here and then they ask about the document uh, details type whether it's article or abstract or uh, some other details okay so this article okay and uh, after that they ask about volume issue number okay it says that the paper is was published online okay uh, till now not uh, other journal not provide that volume issue number okay just you to left the uh, uh, detail blank otherwise you can provide uh, declare as nil okay and then you can provide page number this one okay start from one okay that's you can provide page number from one so then then they ask about some question right so you can ask some question or provide some details about our paper you just you got uh, add this detail or detail same detail in that question and section also just you got to provide same detail add my paper and proper profile so after giving the detail they ask about some pdf that mean uh, the pdf of the missing document mm, here you can see that my paper is available in the online only so i'm going to take um, pdf that mean i'm going to make that uh, uh, detail in pdf format okay so i'm going to save that document in some location here i'm going to Save that paper. Save. Here I'm going to upload the document. Okay, I'm going to choose that file. choose that file and then it will be uploaded in that uh, website so after uploading that uh, uh, that will have some basic information about your detail your title and your first name last name email address and then uh, in, in which country you are uh, living okay so the, the detail will be will be provide in this section okay and then you have to send send your question okay just you to click this one okay so that uh, query going to, uh, is sent to that uh, scopus uh, support team okay so you will receive some email about that uh, Query and also after receiving that email, so I think within uh, 48 hours uh, uh, they will head back, uh, head, uh, head back to you about that uh, uh, proper details. Okay, so this is about how to add that missing document uh, in that uh, Scopus. I think after uh, getting that uh, mail and uh, response from the, the Scopus team, so it will be take morely nearly. Uh, two to three weeks, uh, three weeks time for adding your paper in your profile. So next, to move on to that uh, how to add missing document. If suppose in Scopus website, uh, your paper is referred to by, by another paper, right? But uh, uh, they are uh, using your um, paper references. Uh, that mean uh, they not properly cited your uh, paper in that. Uh, in reference section of the uh, corresponding paper okay then you can uh, no, notify that uh, 
detail for this corpus in order to include in your in your citation okay so for that data just you want to go to that uh, website same website okay and then you can use that how can i add missing citation and then go to that uh, the form here you can uh, select the option here is red citation correction okay so you can uh, take this one so they are asking about some detail uh, that may be about that uh, uh, citation missing citation detail uh, you can write the uh, subject matter so add my uh, add uh, that when you can uh, give some uh, subject like to add missing citation to my paper and then they ask about a uh, file okay then which uh, uh, paper your, your paper have been referred okay that detail uh, have been asked okay just you would upload that paper corresponding paper and then you can provide that uh, detail detail about, about that your citation and then you can send the question to that supporting team so within uh, 40 days they will head, head back to you about that uh, solution okay so uh, that, that details are correct then uh, uh, within two or three weeks uh, that uh, citation is going to be included in your paper okay thank you